What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Extraving Your Fragrances again. Um, just um, trying to knock out a couple of these videos while I have a chance. There's a couple things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, but th in this particular video, I um, wanted to talk about the uh, future of job employment. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, making money, right? And uh, I believe that the future of... Uh, employment is going to be more towards, um, you know, uh, entrepreneurial um, line of work, I guess you can say. And um, because it, the thing is, like, if artificial intelligence um, takes over or as they're projecting is going to take over a lot of uh, jobs and get rid of a lot of uh, jobs that people are, are doing, um then um, that leads me to conclude that um, you would have to search for some kind of work that a robot can't do, okay? And uh, I strongly believe the future of work or, em or, or employment is going to be for those who uh, are in, the, in any kind of industry where customization is required, okay? Now, I'm not saying robots won't be used in that, but I'll give you a few examples. Body oils business, right? Obviously, I'm going to mention that one. This is a, this is a, a type of uh, a type of industry where you can customize the product, right? There's it's, it's almost like art, right? Like I consider I consider this this uh, this industry like a type of art. Because it is um, when a fragrance is produced uh, or created, um, there's a type of uh, of art to it. You know what I mean? Um, one associate of mine, um, you know, he blends some of his own fragrances, and uh, they become big hits, right? Um, I actually got one of his fragrances, and um, was able to capture that scent. Uh, that he had blended and now it's like it's a formula that it's it's down pat you know what i mean no one no one else has that particular fragrance so in some sense um that it creates i guess you could say like a type of uh, a type of Im immunity in terms of competitiveness right so let's say for example if you if you buy and sell products online right let's say you do drop shipping or something like that you're getting products from you know you're getting products from uh made in china or aliexpress and uh you go to amazon or wherever wherever you sell and um you know you drop ship from there uh well the thing is the only thing the only problem with that is is that you you have to really 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 dig and find products that nobody else is selling um, like, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, but you have to do a lot of homework and find out what other people are selling, what they're not, you know, who's, who's not selling this. Okay. Well, I'm going to copy that and, or I'm going to go and sell, you know, something different that might be popular and whatnot. Um, so, you know, products that are mass produced, uh, the competition could be very fierce. You get what I'm saying? Um, now I'll give you an example. Like, uh, food. Okay. If you're a chef or let's say if you're a cat, if you're, you're a caterer, right? You have a certain type of food that you make that nobody else makes, or let's say if you're a pastry chef or something along those lines, nobody makes the same exact, uh, foods the way you do, right? Or your recipe is a secret, right? Th this is a type of art. Okay. Uh, if you're dealing with woodwork, if you're a carpenter, okay. Um, you know, you know, that's that's a really broad area to go into because we're talking industrial carpentry. Then you're talking about, you know, um, you know, hand carving. Right. Um, furniture making. Right. Like I, I met this dude the other day. This dude spent life, almost life in prison. And he was just getting out. This guy was very old school. He was in his 70s. And the guy knows how to make like amazing furniture from like from redwood all right um uh, so 
that's just one example. Uh, incense sticks. That's a handcrafted thing, right? And um, you can customize, you know, the, the smell of your incense sticks to where nobody else has that particular scent. I I was told this story on a number of occasions um, about this guy up in New York who had an incense who had an incense business and um like he had like a few different fragrances uh but there was always a little bit of like pineapple in the background somewhere right and uh he did very well right uh, i think i told this story before i think it was the same guy uh where he lived in this he lived in this apartment in new york and uh everybody knew his incense sticks and he would have it scheduled where people would come up, you know, um, he would send a guy down there. Everybody put their money in a bucket. Uh, you know, the guy would go back upstairs, take the money to the guy who's making incense sticks and he would have his orders. They would put in their orders as well. And, uh, he would, he would customize their particular batch of incense sticks and they would wait outside. These people would wait outside in a line for their incense sticks. And um, the guy would send his guy back downstairs with a bucket full of incense for each particular order. And, um, and, and, and he would do it like that. You know what I mean? But that's, I'm going back to, to the idea of customizing you like now is a really good time to get creative, um, you know, and innovative. That's the thing that, that makes, um, America special, uh, compared to many other countries is that, um, you know, we don't try to like steal people's like technology and make it our own. You know what I'm saying? We like in this country, like we actually create in, in, in new products, right? Uh, new ideas, right? There are many ideas that come out of this country. Right. Um, and so I think that's what it's going to have to go back to is, uh, we as a people are going to have to start getting innovative again, start getting creative again. Um, and I believe that will create the opportunities that made the United States a place where people from other countries actually want to, want to come, want to come to. Okay. Um, let me throw a few other examples out there as far as customization, artwork, you know, photography, um, uh, cinematography, right? Um, I personally, I think there's a really big need for, um, you know, like documentary type style, uh, work out there, right. Uh, of like high quality, uh, cinematography, um, you know, high quality, uh, commercials, right. Um, there's a big demand for that. I believe that I don't think a lot of people are fulfilling. You get what I'm saying? That's a type of art. I mean, imagine if you had a commercial that was so uh, captivating and appealing to the consumer, um, that could that could really take your business to the next level. Um, so that's one example um, that I would say there's a need for custom, like that customization will be out there, right? Um, you know, of course, technology will advance, will, will make it easier to do these things. But uh, I think there's something about adding your own custom touch that I don't believe that a robot can ever replace that, right? Um, you know, doing uh, paint jobs, custom paint jobs on on exotic cars or uh, hot rods or whatever it might be. You know, I know back in California, I knew an, an old Mexican guy. This guy would buy uh, vehicles. Uh, at the auction here in the U.S., like old Porsches and stuff like that, he would fix it up and then he would take it across the border to Mexico and um, he would have them do like a custom paint job on it. And, you know, I don't know if you guys know Mexicans, you know, in the in the, with the low riders and custom paint jobs, they're amazing. Uh, I've, I've seen I mean, just the artwork, you know, if you whatever kind of artwork you want on there, it's um uh, it's really, really, really um, an amazing thing. Um, let me see what else. 
graphic design, right? Uh, graphic design, um, you know, uh, anything, like I said, um, anything, anything that requires your special touch, um, you know, interior design, interior decorating, right? So now you have this new rise of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Airbnb, right? So Airbnb disrupted the real estate industry. And so now what we're seeing is, uh, people are actually, (laughs) <laughs> literally renting out, you know, properties with permission of the owner, uh, renting it out, then turning it around and turning it into an Airbnb. And so what they'll do is they'll go get their own custom interior decorator to come by and decorate it and fix it up how they want. Right. And then when the, when the guest leaves, uh, they'll, you know, come by and they'll fix it back up again. And, you know, and they'll come and just tweak it a little bit. Uh, so that's what I'm saying, y'all, is, uh, you know, we have to start getting creative. Uh, customiza- customization, anything that requires you using your hands, I believe, is the future of employment. Um, I don't think we're, I mean, sure, you're going to need your doctors. You're going to need your engineers. You're going to need the people that work on the on the robots. You know what I mean? Um you know, you're going to need all of that. Um, but I think in large, um, customization, customization is where it's going to be. And, uh, you know, companies like Etsy, they know that's why they created Etsy because they already, ha- I believe they already understand, uh, and they already understand the, uh, uh, the data and, and, and all the analytics and all that stuff of what, uh, what the, what the future potentially holds as far as work goes. Right. Um, so yeah, I, 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 um, I think that's where we're headed. I remember one year I, I spoke with this guy who was in artificial intelligence and I asked him, I said, uh, I said, what is your take on, you know, uh, you know, people were talking about how, how many, how many robots would, uh, re- would basically replace jobs, right. In certain industries. And this happened about two or three years ago. And, um, you know what he told me, this guy said, he said, listen, if people are complaining about jobs now, uh, and that there's not enough jobs, he says pretty soon, he's like, He's like the unemployment rate is gonna is gonna skyrocket, and I don't know what made him say that. Um, I'm wondering if he had any insights as to the climate that we're in now. I don't know, uh, but here we are, 2020. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll leave this. I'll leave this with you. Uh, this last one, last message is, uh, you know. Um, do for yourself and don't wait for handouts y'all you know as um if you're waiting for handouts yeah you might get them but it's most likely going to be crumbs you know what i mean so let's get the wheels turning um if you're not in this particular uh, uh field of work check the links below i've got wholesale kits uh in the wholesale kit section uh, and I'll try to make sure to add the master list as well. Um, if you're just a person stopping by uh, who's not subscribed, consider subscribing because I don't just talk about like fragrances. I also talk about the entrepreneur lifestyle as well. And uh, uh, so anyways, um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is is, is uh, safe. And um, hopefully I will talk to you soon, everybody. Take care.